Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar and continuing with this con server configuration in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. In previous video, we have discussed about YAML server configuration in Enterprise Linux 7 and in this session, we will see how to configure DNS server in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. So what is DNS? DNS is the server which provide the facility of resolving IP address to host name and host name to IP address so that we can access any computer in our network using host name or IP address. In Linux operating system, bind is the RPM package which provide name service or name server as the DNS server and in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, we are going to configure it. Before starting anything, I hope you have some basic concept about DNS server like uh, what is DNS server, what are zones, primary zone or secondary zone, forward lookup zone or reverse lookup zone, master zone or slab, master server or slab server, etc. In this session, we are going to see how to configure DNS server in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. So first of all, log into your system. As you can see here, I am logging with the root user account. And here we, here we are. I'm using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.3 server, 64 bit, and we will configure DNS server on this machine. So what we have to do first is, first of all, verify that your initial configuration is already there, like IP address and host name. So first of all, I'll set my host name, host name CPL, set host name like server one dot nux dot com i'll configure my my dns server as nux dot com and to verify i'll use command host name and as you can see here here is the server one dot nux dot com this is the fully qualified domain name that is fqdn name of our system as it's containing host name as well as domain name so the next thing we have to do is to verify our interface is properly configured like I am verifying using command IF, if config ENS 33 which is the interface name of our system and I can see here there is no any IP address so I will set IP address first. I would use command nmcli we have already discussed about this command in earlier. So connection modify modify ENS 33 IPv4 address will be 192.168.20.1 slash 24 is the subnet mask IPv4 gateway will be 192.168.20.1 itself and IPv4 DNS address will be 192.168.20.1 and if you want to set DNS search address right now you can use command ipv4.dns happen search as nux.com so as you can see here I have set my IP address host name uh, default gateway DNS and DNS search address now I have to active our interface by using command nmcli connection up ens33 and now your interface is activated and working if you want to verify it you can ping your ip address and we are getting reply it means your interface is up now and it's working properly so proceed for the topic what we have to do here is First of all, the RPM package bind is responsible for providing name service in your system. So we will have to install that bind service. So I will use command yum install. We have already configured yum server in this machine in our previous video. So uh, I'll di directly use yum server to install RPM package bind. As you can see here, we are just about to start installation and yes. I'm getting some error message. I think 
there is SC Linux denying us to access our FTP server. So for this moment, I am just disabling our SC Linux. You don't do that if you uh, are working in a practical environment. Just allow your FTP server using IP table, but not disable at all. I'm just disabling it because I have to configure a DNS server only. In our further video, I'll discuss about how to allow or deny a particular service from IP table. Of so let's verify it again by using command yen install bind. If we install our RPM package, it means it's working very fine. As you can see here, we are just about to finish our installation process of bind package and here we have we completed the installation so as you can see here i have installed bind 9.9.4 version of 64 bit and now we can proceed to configure our name server so name.conf is the main configuration file of dns server so first of all we'll configure main configuration file that is etc name.conf file and as you can see here there is the listening port you just have to add your ip address here insert 192.168.20.1 will be your listen port and allow query who can query you anyone can query the server and at the end of this zone just add your forward and reverse lookup zone detail like zone zone I'll configure nux dot com in type we are going to configure master server and for master server we will use the forward lookup john file as a forward nux.com you can assign any name here but you will have to remember that and allow an update i will use none and now close it and now again for the reverse lookup john john and our zone will be 20.168.192 make sure that you are using the reverse lookup zone so the address must be 20.168.192. in dash adbr dot arpa in type master file will be like rv we will create this file that is forward for forward lookup zone we will create for uh, fw hyphen nux.com and for reverse lookup zone we will configure rv dot nux.com file and allow hyphen update none so our main configuration file is ready now now we can proceed to configure our john file so where name is the directory which contain the john information for the name server so what we have to do here is as you can see here there are already some files and we can use these files as an example file for the forward and reverse lookup john so i'll create copy named dot local file for the forward lookup zone as fw hyphen nux we have defined it in our main configuration file so nux dot com and for the reverse lookup zone i'll use this file that is name dot loopback as rv hyphen nux dot com as you can see here we have created two different file for forward and for the reverse lookup zone 
so what we have to do here is first of all change the ownership and group ownership of and the manually created file uh, forward and for reverse lookup zone for and now as you can see here group user and group but we are now using root user and named group for the file so what we have to do is we will have to configure our zone file like I am configuring forward lookup zone file as you can see here you don't have to do anything here just we will configure server one nux dot com dot and Integer root dot nux dot com and now what we have to do here is at the start of the line in ns server one dot nux dot com dot nux dot com dot in a address 192.168.20.1 server 1 will be in address 192.168.20.1 and for client 1 this address will be 192.168.20.2 whatever I am just assigning a client address here so our forward lookup zone file is ready now and now we will have to edit our reverse lookup zone file so even in this file you don't have to do anything just insert it and in name server server one dot next dot com dot and one in ptr that is the pointer address of server one dot nux dot com dot sorry dot com dot and remove this address from here and now we can add the client address as two in ptr Save it. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have configured main configuration file that is name.com in slash etc directory and we have configured forward lookup zone, reverse lookup zone file in slash where named. So first of all we will have to verify whether we have configured our uh, configuration file, main configuration file and zone file properly. So named I'm typing here hyphen check config slash etc named dot com. This file will verify whether we have done anything any mistake in this file or not. And we are getting no error message. It means the name.com file is properly configured. And now we will have to check whether the forward lookup zone file is, uh, is edited properly. So we will use named named hyphen check zone next for next.com where named named and for forward lookup zone we used file forward even this is okay as you can see here if we if there is any mistake the error message will appear here but it's okay right now and for reverse lookup zone we will use command dot 168 dot 192 dot in dash addr dot ar for for where named reverse and even 
in this file you are not getting any error message so our all three files are okay name.conf forward lookup join file and reverse lookup join file so what we have to do here is now we will start the name service by using command system ctl start named and started and now we can verify whether our name service is working properly by using command dig nux.com and as you can see here your dns server is working properly we are acquiring one answer one authority one and additional two information is here so if you want to verify it again ns lookup can we can use here like server one is 192.168.20.1 client 1 is 192.168.20.2 and if we want to verify the reverse lookup zone 20.1 will be the server address as you can see here and 192.168.20.2 we have defined de defined as client so it is very easy to configure a, a name service in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 I hope you can easily configure it but make sure that uh, that your client can access your uh, uh, your DNS server so you will have to allow 53 port or DNS service from your uh, from your firewall and IP table and further you can configure the resolve resolve dot main main client file is slash etc slash resolve file which will define which will define the search address and the name server address for the client and they can also resolve the IP address and host name from the server so I don't think it's a very tough uh, configuration of Red Hat uh, of uh, name server configuration in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. You can use this server for your clients as a uh, as a resolver server, but make sure that your firewall and IP tables allowing client to access your DNS server. So you will have to allow uh, allow 53 port and uh, name service for the clients uh, through your firewall and IP tables, and you can easily configure your DNS server for the client. So guys, I hope that you like this video and you can configure your DNS server very easily. We will continue with the video in uh, continue with the topic in next video. And till then, bye bye.